what is going down, YouTube people? Welcome to another adventure of the fight. So we're gonna go hit up the Umpqua River, try to get into the shad fishery. Um, and the end of April, May, beginning of June, catch the um, shad run coming in. And uh, Umpqua River has one of the best shad fisheries in Oregon, so we're gonna go down and we're gonna hit that. Uh, throw a little squiggly tail jigs. I think it's gonna be a bunch of fun. Welcome to another adventure of the bite. Yeah, dude, what do you think? I've got to be happy with that. that beautiful little striped bass. Look at this fish stager just got. Look at this chrome beauty. This one's going home with us, too. That's a good beauty. That's going to go great with our super thick New York steak. I'm Chris Blanchard. I'm Asher Wren. You're watching the bike. Hey, howdy. Gear mules once again. Yep, we're that gear. We're, we're Sherpa mule packing all the gear down we're gonna fill that red cooler right there with fish which means it's gonna be even heavier on the way back up so we'll have, to, uh, carry it on the way yeah, back. we'll have to make multiple trips or something yeah. we're here at our spot we're on our way down the river we're gonna go down and get set up and uh, get into some fish so you know don't go nowhere unless it's to like grab a sandwich make a PB and J grab some snacks make some popcorn yeah any of that kind of stuff you know Grab a blanket to wrap yourself in so that you're warm while we're out here in the overcasty morning weather. Yeah, yeah, snuggle up, make some popcorn, grab a blanket. Get cozy, baby. Do whatever it is that you do. Get cozy. We're gonna go catch some fish. Woo-wee! Hey guys, so we just got down to the spot and got set up, and I was just making a cast to show Cormac where the hole is. And immediately, here's our first shot of the morning. Wow, this one's got some beautiful colors on it. Often these fish are just straight silver, but this one got some rainbows on it and stuff. Uh, beautiful fish. Beautiful little fish like that. He's going in the cooler. That's our perfect target species. They're going to get turned into crab bait, so. Third cast, I'm on to another one. I think it's going to be a good day. There's definitely a lot of fish out here. This one's a monster, too. Yeah, hey. yeah there's another real nice shad right there. Put a few more of these away. How's that feel, bud? Feels well, good. First ever shad in the, the Yumpwa.
I don't know what is. Stoked to finally put one away. I almost ate it again. It's been a day of like falling on the rocks and missing fish, but got this one. Woo -wee! Shad that is still not done fighting. Stoked on that. I'm gonna put it down and in the box. Well, you guys, we're gonna wrap it up. It's raining, we're soaking wet. Fishing's been fun. We got one, two, three, nine. Nine large shad in the cooler. I'll show them to you guys real real quick right here here's this nice big boy we're gonna take him and drop him in there that's our uh it's our little stockpile of shab we just collected lots of fun we're gonna uh get out of here and go home and get dry and get warm and get cozy so i'll probably uh holler at you again on the road and uh, here's some kind of cool little montage or time lapse or some fun thing to check out while we pack all this stuff up. Yeah. fishing um there was a little skunk period i probably went an hour and a half without catching any fish caught a fish on like the first four casts and then uh you know caught a fish in some of the last couple but that's kind of the nature of it if you're like i'm gonna stay until i catch a fish probably gonna catch a fish in one of the last couple kid came down and joined us gentleman uh james i think his name was shout out to james what up james we just met here on the river james was slaying it he he was just crushing fish at one point and sitting there putting us to shame made me look like a real amateur. Didn't catch a fish for like an hour and a half while James was standing next to me, probably caught a dozen. And sure enough, as soon as he left, I started slaying fish again. So, you know, it's just what it is. But I'm gonna try to get him to take me up and show me the striper, the striper bite. You guys got the, the secret lock on the Oregon striper tip? Tell me the secret lock on the Oregon striper tip. I got a couple holes. We're gonna go hit them up here soon. Um, I think it's gonna be fun, so let's get into some stripers. you guys that was another adventure of the bite i hope you enjoyed it we had fun filming it uh stay tuned to catch the next one hit the little like button hit the little sub button hit the little notification thing and uh yeah tight lines yeah Woo! bro oh my god dude that's a 20 pounder 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, target species. Dude, guys, we have put in hours and days on this. All right, you guys, got this nice, big, beautiful striper all wrapped up. We're gonna uh, get it on some ice and get home. It's probably 2 a.m. now. We didn't have a trash bag, so I wrapped it in a towel, but big, awesome, beautiful fish. Make sure to catch next week's episode of The Bite where you get to watch us catch this striped bass right here on some shad that you probably watched us catch just now. So that's real fun. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of the action. Oregon striped bass right there. And look at the size of this baby. Don't you want to know what's inside this towel? <laughs> yeah, don't you want to know what's inside this towel? Catch it on uh, Wednesday, Sunday, well, whatever. Sunday. Next, next episode of The Bite. That's straight bass right there, guys. Yeah. Whee!